Stevies. Happy Fury Friday! So today we're going to talk about the Fury because uh, I've got a little something here that uh, I think is almost a must have for your Honda Fury and I want to share it with you guys. Actually there's it's kind of two things. It came in a kit so let's uh, do the the intro thing and then uh, and then we'll talk about this. Now the sun is bright. Okay, so Stevie's, as we all know, I am going to do an iron butt on the Honda Fury. It's going to happen this year. When? While well, Miss Stevie is out for the world record poker run with the Badgers, I'm going to do it. Which I believe is like July. 30th or 31st or something like that but one of the things that I've always kind of knocked on the fury about is that um, there's no cruise control whatsoever right so we got this little dealy right here so this is what this little throttle lock is this silicone sleeve that you slide over your grip and then this is the actual throttle lock this is a this is a deal here to put your thumb on to push it forward and then to pull it back and all you do is you take this onto this silicone sleeve and you push it over it and then you just tighten up your set screw and what we did notice is that you really have to play with this set screw to uh, to get it right as far as the tension and stuff because see like right there I can turn it and it doesn't turn the it doesn't turn the grip so you just got you gotta play with this tighten it up loosen it up all that jazz but so you pull the throttle back and then you push this up with your thumb and then see voila it holds the throttle and then to get that back, you can either push the th push the throttle forward, close it all the way, and then you see, oh, maybe you can't see. It gets a little bit of a gap right there. Or you can have it down, holding your throttle, and then just put your thumb on it right here, and then just pull it back. But just pushing the throttle forward seems to be way easier and like i said link in the description below but it also came with two of these throttle bosses so amy likes these i could take it or leave it i don't know whatever but yeah so that's what this is and we are going to test it out today so what we're going to do is we're going to go on a road up here that's 55 mile an hour speed limit which i have a horrible time going 55 mile an hour on always speeding so I always need cruise control now this little daily Mababi is not an actual cruise control obviously it will not it will not control my speed but what it will do hopefully is it will give me just a little bit of help it's nice to just relax a little bit and not worry about it so much right so I'm gonna get up to 55 mile an hour here and this road is not flat. This road has hills. So we're gonna set it at 55. Set it at 55. We're gonna get going 55 and we're gonna turn this. We're gonna turn this dealie right here with my thumb until it hits the brake. And now I'm doing 55. Well, I wasn't. I'm doing 55 now. I'm going downhill. Let's see how much it gains, I guess is the word so we're going 60 now which is speeding but i mean well i get a ticket for that i mean i could but i don't know so now we're pulling going up the hill and now we're down to 50 51 so i'm gonna just turn it just a little bit more and goose it just a little bit and i'm gonna relax again now we're doing about 54. Okay, now we're doing 60 already. So I'm gonna back out just a 
a little bit. So what this reminds me of is my first Road King where it just had the, the tension screw on the bottom to, speed, to tighten it up. That's basically what this is. But guys, this came with this throttle lock thing and this throttle boss. And it was like 11 bucks. And if I'm wrong, I'll voice over myself right there, but it was not expensive. So, I mean, this is something that anybody can get for their bike. Okay, now we're doing 59, now we're doing 60, so I'm gonna back out of it a little bit. So while I'm doing my iron butt, this is going to be crucial. Okay, so now we are doing 49, so. So when it's hilly like this, I mean, these aren't like huge hills or anything, but there's a lot of them. I mean, there's one hill after another. There is no flat part on this road. Well, I mean, there is up here a little bit. But right through here, there is no flat spot. So, I mean, it's it's constant speed up, slow down, speed up, slow down, speed up, slow down. Now we're going downhill a little, just a little tiny bit. We're getting up to about 59, so. I mean, when the speed limit's higher, it's not gonna be as important, right? Because 55 mile an hour is slow, right? I mean, it's slow, it's obnoxious slow. Oh, so my iron butt that I'm gonna do on this. Now, I've, I've said that I'm not gonna go through the Iron Butt Association to do it, but I might. I might do it. I mean, otherwise, I'll just document it right here. I'm excited. I'm excited about this. I'm excited about doing the Iron Butt. I don't, I'm sure other people have done it on the Fury, but I don't know if it's on the YouTube, so. You know, one of the really nice things about the Fury, though, is having the gauge up here in front of you. Because on my Road King, I have to turn my head to look down a little bit at my speedometer, but not on this. Oh, also, I need a phone holder, don't I? Gosh dang, I don't know what I'm going to do. Oh, I don't know what I'm going to do about that. Okay, so now I'm just, I'm in a 40, 40 mile an hour speed limit zone. So now I can just, you know, lock it there at 40 also. No, it backed off just a little bit. So it did slip. It did slip a little bit, but it does have a retention screw up here on the top, so I'll tighten that a little bit. It's hot today, man. It's a hundred. It is a hundy today. Okay, so now right in between 65 and 70 and I'm gonna set the throttle on and like you can see in front of us now this road is way flatter so we shall we'll see how good it works slowing down just a tick so I'm not a hundred percent sure which direction I'm going to go either for my iron but I've thought about going west I've thought about going straight north um, so I could use some suggestions from you guys, okay? Which which direction do you think I should go? Also, do you think I should go out a thousand miles? Stay the night somewhere and then come a thousand miles back? I'm trying to do this over a weekend, so I really don't want to, you know, do a thousand miles out, a thousand miles back, and then have to go to work the next day, but I, w I will. I mean, it's okay if we did back out just a little bit, so we'll speed it up and what I'm doing is I'm twisting the throttle and I'm pushing up with my thumb at the same time and that was a little bit too much so I'll we'll back up but um, what I'm thinking honestly is I'm gonna go out 500 miles and then come 500 miles back or if I can find somewhere really cool to go you know I might go out I should you can see now we're slowing down again I wonder if it's losing your tension a little bit We'll do about 70 and we'll see what it does. I'm thinking well, if I can find somewhere cool to go, I'd go out, you know, seven, eight hundred miles and then turn around and come 200 or so miles back home to get to my thousand and then stay the night and then come home the next day. Then I wouldn't have to do a whole thousand miles to come home. But otherwise, I'm thinking I'm probably just going to go 500 or so miles out, 500 or so miles back, depending on where I decide to go. But I really want a destination for this thing. I don't want to just watch my odometer, my tripometer, and, and go out, go 500 miles, and then just stop, turn around, and come back home. You know, I don't want to... I want to have a destination of some kind. Thought about going up to the Canada border. 
and then turning around and coming back. I've thought about going into Colorado. I've thought about going into Wyoming. I'm not 100% sure how I'm going to do this yet, but I am going to do it. And for some reason, I, I picked the hottest time of the year to do it. <laughs> so mostly, though, there is a reason for that because I don't want to have to carry a bunch of crap with me. So I don't want to have to carry a jacket and a sweatshirt and all that stuff. You know, if it's going to be hot, then I could just wear a protective shirt to keep the sun off of me. And, you know, if it's going to rain, then, ah, man, I really don't want to try to lug around rain gear somehow. I also don't really want to try to lug around a backpack either. So now I've got to try to figure out how I can take some stuff. Maybe I can get a tank bag, just strap it to the tank, maybe? That could probably work, right? I wonder if I could use a bag that I've already got. Let me know what you guys think about that, too, how I can how I can take some stuff with me. Is that my throttle lock at 70? Ish. Or so. This thing is cool. I'm digging it. This thing I don't really care for so much. This throttle boss thing. I don't... Amy likes it. So I'm going to leave it on there. But I don't, I don't care for it too much. So the more bumps I hit, the more this thing loosens up. And I really don't want to over tighten the screw on it. I really don't want to just move a bunch of stuff around on this bike like the mirrors and stuff yet. Because right now this is Miss Stevie's daily. Because her bike is in a truck on its way to Florida for the world record poke run. She's getting pretty. Hey, if you guys know, can you guys answer this question for me miss stevie's gonna take her bag her her bag for her sissy bar she's gonna use it as carry-on do you guys know that fly a lot do you guys know if she can take her carry-on bag and then carry her helmet on too also that's that's something we need to know this little guy is going to be pretty handy, especially if I go out west, where it's flat for a long ways. And if I go out west, I've got an idea of where I'm going to go, but that'll be a different video. Um, I'll let you guys know where I'm going, like the week before we go, so I know for sure, so that, you know, weather's going to change that, right? So, I'm, I'm thinking I'm really going to like this whole iron butt thing, so... I think that when I'm done doing it on this, I might have to do it on the old King too. I will put a link to this down in the description below and stuff, but otherwise guys let me know if you have one of these. So everybody if you like this video hit the like button. If you want to see more stuff like this subscribe, hit the bell notification so you know when we load up next and until next time. Everybody stay cool, and we will see you on the road. I'll have the throttle lock speed away for us. Eighty. Okay. Okay, bad throttle lock. Bad.